Well, hello there, everybody. This is Ananya. And now that we have learned quite a few of the basics in Pandas, how about we try and inculcate all of that into a small, simple project? Well, today we will be doing just that. And as you can see, I have the Kaggle website open and I have the data set World Health Statistics 2020 open for you. Now, this is the data set that we will be using today. So let's just hop right into it. All right, so after you're done downloading this from the zip folder, you will get plenty of files. All right, as you can see on the screen right now, there are quite a few of them. So what we will be using is from the age group 30 to 70 uh, diseases like cancer and cardiovascular diseases, we will be dealing with that. It's a very simple data set. So let's go ahead and open up Jupyter Notebook. All right, so since this is going to be a pretty, pretty simple one, so let's code. Okay, let's start with coding. And firstly, we need to import pandas. That's a first step. And next, what you want to do is, uh, let's create a variable, right? So into the variable, we say, let's say health is equal to, and we need to read the CSV file, right? So PD dot read CSV. This is the function we use. And to that, let's pass the read rights and let me give in the path. All right, this being done, you can go ahead and change the file name in case that's a little complicated for you to write. This is how the data basically looks like. Let's have a look at the columns here, only five columns and 2,745 rows. Now, remember this, um, we will need it a little later on. So we have the location, the year, and we have an indicator. Now, what does the indicator say? I'll show you all the Excel sheet. All right, there you go. So this is basically a percentage, the probability percentage of people that die between the age 30 to 70 due to any of these following diseases. That is cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, etc. And you have the gender, male, female, and both. And lastly, you have the value out here. Now, uh, uh, originally, this data set did not have any null values, all right? But for our practice purposes, I have put in a few null values. Now, let's go ahead and there you go. You can see the NAN out here. All right. Now, let's go ahead and actually see how many null values are in there. Okay. So, what you have to do is simply say, we have learned all this health dot is null. We're checking what the ones that are positively null. And just to make our work pretty fine, we say dot sum. You can see an aggregated uh, value of it, right? So you see in first tool tip, okay, that's basically the value. You have seven null values. Now, before we go ahead and deal with removing null values, just to prettify our data set, I'm going to go ahead and change the column names of the second, last and last rows. Dimension one, I'll make it gender and first tool tip, I'll make it value. All right. It seems way more easier to deal with, right? Okay, so for that, again, we have done this. What we do is health dot rename, all right? Just for your recap and your practice, you simply say rename. To that, you pass the parameter columns. Okay, my spelling, C-O-L-U-M-N-S, all right. And now you need to pass in a dictionary, all right? So you say our first column is first tooltip, right? First tooltip, I guess that was the spelling. And uh, what we want to name that is basically value. Now, using a separator, that's a comma, we say the old value, that is the old column name, that is dimension one. I want to make it gender now. All right. After we're done with that, be careful that you need to put in here in place is equal to true because we want to make the change to the original data, right? We are not saying health is equal to health dot rename, right? So if you would have done health is equal to health dot rename, you wouldn't have needed in place is equal to true. So just to make changes directly to the original data, what you simply have to do is put in, in place is equal to true. Let's go and uh, check the data. Okay, now that you see, you have gender and value out here. Pretty fine. Next, dealing with null values. So what you do is, uh, we have seven null values in the value column, right? So now what you want to do is replace them with the mean right? Our aim is to put in values in the value column, wherever there are NAN, wherever there is NAN, is to put in sensible values in there, okay, rather than any random values. So let us take the mean. That's the most sensible thing that we can come up with. So we say health, and you need to access the value column. So you say health of value, 
and to that you need to do fill any right we are doing fill any you could have also done drop any but that would have deleted a few of your values right so you say fill any and again let's go ahead and copy this just to save on time fill any and to that you pass the column name and then you say dot mean all right and that's basically it and again here you need to make sure you have in places equal to true all right now um let me show you all one thing let me remove in place for the time being okay and i'm gonna go ahead and run that right and there you go you have the values being replaced by the mean you don't have any none values out here right now what i want you all to check is come back up here and run this okay i'm gonna go ahead and run it you see it ran again but you see the column value still has seven nan values why because we did not put in place is equal to true right and there you go go ahead and put that run that okay there's an extra comma let's remove that now i'm going to go ahead and run this check and there you go there are no more nan values in here all right we have successfully dealt with nan values removed all of them put in proper data in place now let us say you wanted to check the probability percentage of only certain countries rather than all of them being displayed how would you do that pretty simple if you are familiar with uh, let's say sql if you if you know sql this is going to be a very simple function for you it's very easy to perform it there well you know what it's easier out here because everything's happening in the back end you just need to put in some very very simple syntaxes all right so what do you say health and to that you pass health of location is in that you're checking it if it is in and then you pass in the following list i'm gonna just randomly take india okay and i'm gonna take malaysia you can check in as to whatever country you want that's present in this list and let's go ahead and run this now there you go you have the data of only india and malaysia present for you okay you have no other country pretty nice right you can access and make your work your life way more easier now what i want to do is uh, i'm gonna check in the minimum okay the minimum of the values in here so i shall say health of a value and okay that went outside huh okay so i'm going to check the minimum why am i checking the minimum I'm, i'll come to that so you see the minimum percentage is 4.7 now what i want to do is countries having values or let's say death rates that are below 10 percent okay less than equal to 10 percent i simply want to remove them how do you think we can do that again a very simple operation what we say is you check health okay then you pass in okay health of a value because that's what we want and next you say greater than equal to 10 right so what i'm doing is i'm temporarily not displaying the values that are less than 10 all right so let me say greater than 10 and i'm going to go ahead and run that and now keep a note we have 2600 rows so basically 145 rows compared to this value 145 rows have values less than equal to 10 now how about we can delete them permanently you basically have to apply the tilde sign and pass the health value inside it now you want to delete okay this basically acts as a delete function you delete everything that is less than 10 right less than equal to 10 you want to keep everything greater than 10 let's go ahead and run that now and there you go you have successfully changed that and you only have these many rows in here everything else has been deleted all right now this being done this was again a very short project but a pretty helpful one we'll come across many more projects such as this a little more complicated also because this was very basic levels but it helps sharpen your practice and your knowledge so bye bye i'll see you all soon